game has the most random interactions ever, bro. What am I gonna do with the fucking AED? Oh, maybe that'll like shock the power back to life or some shit. That made more sense in my head than when I said it, honestly. Oh, maybe I can put the AED in there. This is a lot battery operated. Man, if you don't put the fucking... The battery shows about half charge. Opened the lid and took out the battery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's big brain moves. That's big brain moves. That's big brain moves, bro. Motherfucker. I don't know. I don't know yet. How, where's cancel at? So what the fuck do we do now? Wait, now we have to find somewhere to put the wire inside of. Oh, I didn't even know this shit was right here. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. Unlock with the wire. Got it. Okay, I didn't even know that would fucking work, but sure. What's the note? Bro, which one's the fucking note? It reads four four eight nine. Why didn't it tell me that then? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big brain moves. Look at all these shinies. The cabinet is locked, of course. There's something on the desk. Got the key to the counseling room. Where the fuck is the counseling room? I don't know, but let me say, because this is about the time that that nigga usually shows up, so. Hey, 217, that's my lucky number. Nigga, pick it up. Looks heavy. I don't want to be lugging this around. Maybe if I find somewhere to use it, though. Use it on this shit right here. Damn, all these doors are unlocked? That's very unusual. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather an interesting thing. To open it, you have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made the keyword my favorite word. That it... Bro, it's always like just random shit. So this is going to be the a password to something. Unbelievable. When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she had all the pieces, but what's inside is really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints to onto where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe I'll have time. Got to scrap the paper with the hints. What's well, so now I'm just out just fucking finding puzzle pieces? Hilarious. For what reason? I'm guessing that was all in that room. All I need to find is the counseling room. That's the only thing I'm interested in right now. Those stairs? Okay, yeah. So what is this? That's oh, downstairs. That's not need down here, but that's probably where I'm gonna have to go to fucking fight this crooked ass man again. Fluffy, what are you doing in here, bro? This door was locked. Ugh. There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Wow. You sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> Yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. Bro, don't bring Marvel into this. Captain America will sleep you and Fluffy all with one swift movement, bro. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you, Fluffy. <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. 
We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff Dr. is. Bro, just take him. Now I got this fucking sorry ass side character. It's a thing the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? Fuck no. Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. What's this stuff? I don't really know either. Dumbass. So you're just gonna bring this kid along on all your endeavors? Hilarious. Bro, get me out of this fucking radiology room. The funny part is, the nigga that made this game don't know shit about hospitals. What the fuck? Bro, it's all the same shit, different day. Where's the counseling room? That's all I need to know right now, bro. Yuck, what is that, a fucking unborn fetus? A model of an embryo. Yuck. A baby? Huh? It looks like a monkey. Racist, 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 racist. W well, babies are kind of like that. Small shells, there's something here. Got a small key. For what, though? All these doors that I passed in this big-ass hospital? Bro, what are all these rooms? The door is locked with a small three-digit three code. This fucking shit is huge. Pause. Like, there is no reason for this for this hospital to be this big, bro. And they expect me to just memorize where all this shit is. This got to be the final level. Bro, what is that paper? What is that? So all these just unnecessary ass rooms. Hilarious. No counseling room in sight. The funny thing about David is the first thing he said when the kid ran off is the next time I find him, I'm gonna take him to the sheriff's office. And as soon as he found that nigga, he didn't once say we're going to the sheriff's office. He said if his, he said if his mom doesn't come in this dark ass abandoned ass building where she wouldn't think, in a million tries she wouldn't think her son is in here, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take him to the sheriff's office. Like what? Who would see this dark ass building and be like, huh? My child must be in there. Makes no sense. That's why I think that every character that we find on this. In this, in any building we go into, is like a figment of David's imagination. Like this nigga's like crazy or some shit. And they all represent something. Like the girl maybe represented his girlfriend. This this little nigga probably represents him as a child. And uh, here's the counseling room. And fucking D represents him whenever he was younger and in college. What? Was there, was there people right there? I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. So this kid's just gonna fully, fully accept that he's with me now. Hilarious. Tape 15, subject visitor A. 
Gardner for relative in room 409. A visited after a sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. I saw it. Is he talking about my mom? The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable, counseling. Bro, it's talking about his mom. A visit after a patient's death. He eliminated that given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living itself not happy to. Bro, who the fuck cares? Give me a password or something. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What's, what's that, a storybook? No, it's not. There's a key. Okay, that's all I needed. Psychiatric key. Bro, okay. Would y'all rather be stranded in a fucking psych psychiatric ward? An abandoned psychiatric ward or an abandoned hospital? I mean, you got to think, like, how many people die in a hospital a day? It has to be, like, tens of people for sure. I wouldn't say hundreds of people. Tens of people for sure die in a hospital every day. Hundred just seem like too much. Like, n there's no way a hundred people die in fucking in the hospital every day.